Hello everybody and welcome back to my second video. This will be the first video that's out on YouTube too. Basically, this video is about my... I don't know if you can guess it, but these are going to be the bi-level Pullman coaches. The early versions with the uh, slimmer windows. This is basically... Oh, these are actually two pieces. As you can see right here, two separate parts. We got more parts up there, and there we got the beautiful end piece. Also some end pieces right there. So basically what we're going to do, we're going to weld them together, two pieces. So you got the whole entire side of the car, then we're going to repeat this with another set, and then we're going to weld the end pieces to it. So we have our base frame of our bi-level Pullman coaches. So I already have got one finished in the like early states. And later we're going to add some working doors. We're going to add the windows and the interior piece and all the kind of stuff. If you're wondering how big this actually is, this is about two and a half meters long. So not the smallest model. But well, if you model, you know, if you model in this scale, nothing will be like tiny or short. As an example, this is basically the half of an bi-level coach, and out there you see this is an HO scale shale locomotive. Very, very, very tiny. So now we basically welded the two end pieces to one side of the coach. Now the tricky part is to add the other side, since you can basically can lay it flat, since you got these, like this little step right there. So that's a tricky one. So yeah, let's try what we can do. I just finished the base framework. Well, just will the parts together. Pretty long behemoth right here. So basically just one of them and now in here where the doors going to be. I'm going to weld a metal floor right here. Gives it a bit more stability and then we basically just weld a rail. Something like like this here, like an angle iron. That goes from one end right to the other, and then we mount the second floor, first floor, the upper level onto it. And we're also going to add um, this little T bar, like this, like this. There you go. We're going to add this little T bar right here, and also on the other side. It's also on the original and the prototype. And yeah, that's our goal for today. And then we're gonna start with the roof tomorrow. Which will be very interesting. I have no idea how I'm going to build the roof. I was thinking about maybe like duplicating this radius on a piece of wood. And then basically you just add some wood beams that are sitting in between the windows. So we got like many of these. And then we're gonna bend some metal onto it and then we'll screw or yes, somehow we're going to fix it. <laughs> yeah, this is basically just learning by doing and yeah, trying to 
trying to build this somehow. Well, in the meantime, you can see by the rust down there, this car has been sitting outside for a few weeks. And uh, I already made these little crossbars for the roof. However, uh, I was struggling with uh, finding some sheet metal that I could bend around uh, the shape. So I decided to use a pipe with the same radius, like uh, on this little section right here. Basically cut this one out. Took me about 50 minutes just for cutting it. It's a pain, just not fun. And this guy, hold on. Like this. Basically this piece will end up right here to basically just start the first radius. And then I'm going to use some sheet metal to fill up the gap in between. Well, should be a fun project. <laughs> All right, so I welded both sides. As you can see, just take one of them. Doing some grinding work right here. That turned out pretty good. So next thing will be to add some focus some welding spots right here so that I can grind the welding spots on the outside flat looking pretty good this side is already done well, this on and on the other side you can see got some metal hanging over there was a paint to add this one over on the other side oh how do you see but it's already primed I got some prime on it so Next thing will be to finish this side, cleaning up these welding spots right there, and then making an extra roof part that goes onto the open top here. So you got the you can open the car and put something in it or repair something just to get a hand on it. So basically that's the end for our first video of these beautiful gallery cars. Has been a long way, but I think it's looking good so far. But keep in mind this is not the only car, there is another one coming and then also a cap car. Alright everyone, if you liked the video let me know in the comments, hit the thumbs up button and hopefully see you on the next one. Bye!